In this second chemical kinetics topic, we're going to look at the kinetic theory of gases. There are a few more aims and objectives in this topic, and the video will cover them. The kinetic theory of gases requires looking closely at the relationship between reaction rates and temperature, and finding out what that means from the perspective of individual gas molecules. We look at gases because their interactions can be readily simplified, and their behaviour far more easily predicted. They don't need to break through solvent shells, for instance. So in this section, you will need to apply the Arrhenius equation to show how temperature affects the rate of reaction. You'll also be able to apply the Maxwell-Boltzmann equation. For this, you need to break down the equation and pull out the important bits contained within it. So don't get put off by the mathematical notation used to describe it. You'll be able to calculate the mean speed of atoms in a gas and work out other useful terms like the root mean square speed and the most probable speed of molecules because, as you should know, energy of a reaction comes from this speed. We'll also take a look at the microscopic properties of reactions and look at collision theory. This measures and looks at kinetics from the perspective of the molecules. So you'll be able to work out properties such as collision diameter and collision cross-section, which are measures of a molecule's effective size that you can get from kinetic data. So we'll need to expand into the realm of collision rate and collision rate constant, and you'll be able to define and calculate these terms. Finally, you'll be able to explain the concept of a steric requirement for a reaction. Putting this all together will bring us back full circle to the beginning of this topic and you'll be able to rationalise the physical meaning and significance of that Arrhenius equation. All of this together will help us understand how temperature can affect the rate of reaction. We're now entering a world where the rate constant is no longer constant, but can be predicted and controlled by temperature. And those changes over temperature will eventually be useful in determining some other really important factors.